Now, in this question is asking, choose the correct option that gives an aromatic compound. Now, we have to get an aromatic compound after the reaction as the major product. So, the first one is, there is a cyclobutene and bromine is attached and it is reacting with sodium ethoxide. Now, ethoxide ion is a very good base. So, one can think that this ethoxide ion which is very good base can proceed the elimination reaction and cyclobutadiene is formed but that is not correct because it's very very unstable so it will not form let's move on to the second one and start our solution so the solution is the a is not the correct answer and if we talk about B, then B is vicinal dibromide, so it is CS3, CH and CH2, it is Br here and Br, right. So, first it is reacting with alcoholic KOH, then NaNH2. First is alcoholic KOH, then NaNH2. Now, this reaction is given in NCRT. This is the preparation of alkyne. So, in this case, what will happen? Elimination will take place, dehydrohalogenation will take place twice. So, bromine from here and hydrogen from this carbon, and then bromine from here and hydrogen for this carbon will get eliminated and we will get CS3 C triple bond CH. Now, after that, he is passing it with the red hot iron tube at 873 Kelvin. Trimerization will take place. So, this is very famous reaction and after the trimerization, we will get Mesetylene, so it is CS3, CS3 and CS3. So this is an aromatic compound. So this is the correct option. So B is the correct option. If you talk about the next one, benzene is reacting with chlorine in the excess and in the presence of light and we know that when it happens, then we get gamaxine, which is having the structure cyclohexane is attached with six chlorine atoms, right? Now, that is not aromatic. So, this is also not our answer. Talking about the last one, sodium methoxide will produce a base that is methoxide ion and methoxide ion will attack on this hydrogen atom and it will take away the hydrogen ion and if you write the complete reaction then in the case of D there is hydrogen we will get CS3 O minus it will attack here and we will get cyclopentadienyl carbon ion and this is aromatic. It means that we have two options which are correct. One is B, another is D. That is why if we write the answer, the answer is the option number B as well as D. Right? Let us move on to the next question. Now, in this question is asking which of the following reactions will produce propane as the major product. So, let us discuss the reactions, the all four reactions given in the question. So, the solution is the first reaction which is given to us is there is a vicinal dibromide and that is option number A, CH3, C H C H 2 
and br and br this is a typical example of beta elimination this is reacting with zinc and we are heating it with zinc so what will happen zinc will take away these two bromine atoms and we will get ch3 ch double bond ch2 now this is not propane this is propene that's why it is not our answer and this is the wrong option now if you talk about this one this is decarboxylation now we all know that in decarboxylation this co2 will be removed in the presence of naoh and cao in the ratio of 3 is to 1 and we will get ch3 ch2 ch3 right so it will give us propane this is the correct answer so the option third that is c that is also correct this will also give us ch3 ch2 and ch3 so this is also the correct answer the last one this is kolbe electrolysis so if we talk about the option number d and the reaction is given to us CH3, CH2, CH2, COO, Na and plus H2O. And if we electrolyze it, we have studied that it is written in NCRT, CO2 will liberate, decarboxylation will take place and after that we will get a product having the number of carbon atoms double of the number of carbon atoms given in this particular compound so the answer will be ch3 ch2 ch2 and then ch2 ch2 and ch3 so in this case we will get hexane so this is also not our correct answer and apart from that we get CO2 and NaOH also in this particular reaction. So, our correct options are B and C. Therefore, the answer is B and C. Right? Let us move on to the next question.